Hello, this will be a quick video about three point perspective. This video will just be covering standard three point perspective, which should be useful in most situations in 2D art. So we will not be covering advanced perspectives like fisheye perspectives. So let's start. First we define the horizon. It is basically representing the actual physical horizon you would see outside. However, I don't go outside much. So to summarize, if the camera is pointing straight forward, then the horizon will be in the center of the view. If it's pointing upwards, then the horizon will shift downwards and vice versa. Just think of how the camera is aiming basically. And then somewhere along the horizon, you will want to define two vanishing points. And then define a vertical vanishing point for something like a cube sitting flat on the ground. You will want it on the center line of your frame. If you are looking downwards, you want it below the horizon. And if you are looking upwards, then you will want it above the horizon. So now we have got our points for our three point perspective. Now we just need some lines away from the vanishing points like so. And then at the place where they intersect, we can draw some cubes. So here are the cubes formed by the lower vertical vanishing point. And here you can see the cubes formed by the upper vertical vanishing point. Different objects in your scene may have different vanishing points. This will make them look like they have different orientations. As an example, here is what happens if you keep the same vertical vanishing points while shifting the horizontal ones around. It will make it look like it's turned side to side compared to all the other objects. Other orientations are possible, but it will take practice and some trial and error to make them not look overly warped. Of course, it's tedious to make vanishing points for every little detail, so you can also just freehand it. Just remember that all the parallel lines will have to meet at roughly the same point. And of course, you do have to practice it so you can get a better intuition about it. By the way, the vanishing points can be placed off the canvas also. I put mine on the canvas for ease of demonstration. But if you put it so close like this, the perspective is going to look more extreme. Usually you will want it some distance off the canvas, maybe something like this. As an aside, two-point perspective is basically this, but all the vertical lines are, well, completely vertical. It is equivalent to having the vertical vanishing point being infinitely far away. And that will conclude our short trip through Tree's point perspective. I hope everyone enjoyed this short tutorial. I'll be uploading this small sheet of notes to Twitter and on YouTube community posts. So look there for it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.